Hello everyone, my name is Everyone Mithu. Yes, to do some more Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicle X. How are you all doing today? Because today we are starting off by doing a mission. I know, I know, that's kind of crazy now, ain't it? Of course, as per usual in between episodes, I've changed stuff. If you want us to me recollecting some stuff, we did some tire running, we did some heart to hearts, we did some affinity mission, and we did a normal mission. Today, we start off. With a normal mission. Now this is what you would normally call the filler episode. Do not worry. Do not waver. There are some pretty cool stuff ahead. So please get. Let's get this started. It's not fair. I've produced way more results than that little. Ah, this is discrimination. Hey you. I don't know who you are, but you're going to sit there and listen to me crap about my problems? Oh bitch, you want me to slap your face all across the damn room now, would ya? I'll accept, but goddamn, you better. Calm the fuck down, right then. <sighs> and out. Okay, here we go. So our research team has been working on water purification facility in Biano outside the city, and we finally finished it. I know, right? It's party time. Woo! But, but, party time canceled. Boo! Because the everyone had to move out of sight. And he didn't even remind me. And because you want to do promote. That is my impression of a woman. <laughs> That's terrible. Let's console you. I'm glad someone gets it. This is totally travesty. This is the worst thing to happen in anyone in like the last five years. Well, except for the earth blowing up. Yeah, that is like pretty fucking bad. I'd say it's pretty fucking bad. I'm sure it was a hard to work now, frolicking with Ian and the others on their happy little lakeside vacation, probably tanning and swimming and eating chips. They haven't even bothered with the daily check ins for days, and that's how good of a time they're having. It's abuse of office, and I won't stand for it. So listen, I need you to go over there and catch them by slacking. Oh, and feel free to be extra mean to Ejoa a jo a a if you want. Summary, check out on the gate. Research tree on the Biano water purification plant should be fairly easy. Seriously, just go over there and let them have it. Line, line them up and run them out of the line, slapping their faces with your open hand. <laughs> oh god. I hate you and I love you all at the same time. How is it even possible? I guess it's pretty possible since I just said I, I'd like to do that, but that's beside the point. Alright, here we. What the hell happened here? Help! Please, somebody, help me! Open the door, I'm begging you, please let me out! That sounds really good. I'm sure there are no further problems here. Let's just take our scale, just for, you know, non-safety measure, I assume. Let, let's just go in there. Boop. Let, let's get out. Okay, there we go. Well, I think we'll be good. Help me, somebody, open this door! Um, what's going on? Oh, hello? Oh, thank goodness you heard me. The plant store stopped working and I'm now trapped in here. The rest of the research team could be somewhere in the facility. You can please ha get a keycard from one of them. And be careful, there are monsters running around in here. If you find one, don't hesitate they'd kill it. Really and I think I found one. It's a level 22 enemy and it may be just real bad time for us. Real fucking bad time. Alright, let's just kill it then. No, as I do with everyone. I'm curious, is it classified as an insect to it? Or beside an enemy? Okay, so it's clearly a different type. Maybe a terror type of enemies, but it's not full legged and it doesn't seem very beast like, so I don't know. Anyway, let's just take care of the canter and he should be done for. Yeah. There we go. And we got a key card for it. That is very strange. Hey, Joa? What's going on? Oh, thank you. I can finally get out. It's not like that thing was dying. Were you the one who killed it? Yeah, why were you trapped? What? Why were you trapped in here? The intruder's alarm went off and everyone ran outside. We heard the scream and then Ian and I were attacked by something. Oh my god, Ian! Where is he? Where are the others? Are they alright? Uh, I, I didn't find anyone else. 
I, I didn't find anyone else. What 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 the hell happened? Now, how do you have a key card? My friends are the only one who have those. Oh no. And why are you even here? We weren't expecting visitors. Can I believe anyone would just show up here and out of the blue? Why did Rosie ask you to come? No, no, or for saving me, I guess. Did you hear that? It's a warning that something is wrong with the plant. I'm sorry, but could I ask you to go check it out? I'm going to look through the surveillance footage and try to get an idea of what happened. That's fine, but that is extremely worrying. Maybe you should go check it out yourself. I mean, when I see panels all around saying emergency, I'm guessing it's something pretty fucking grave. Did it tell me? Saddest danger. Okay, doesn't tell me that much. I guess we're going to the plan now. Please love me, Daddy. <laughs> oh, great. Let, let's get this started, shall we? Oh, God. That seems very bad. Okay, you know what? Let's just cheese this fight as much as possible. It seems weird that I get a scale in here, but you know what? I, I don't really care. When you face this many enemies, you, you want to be as careful as possible. Actually, you know what? Let's, get, let's just go right into it. Let's not waste any time. Let's try to go and deal as much damage as possible on foot. We are the Blades of Fire. I play too much StarCraft lately. Alright, let's try to stun as many of them as possible. Lightning Cloak. Oh god, they deal a lot of damage. Actually, these guys resemble a lot of seniors in their fighting style, so... Maybe that's something to be wary of? I, I don't know. I'm just saying like this. Okay. Then I could go for TP art, but let's not get too crazy of ourselves here. But let's just be very careful traversing through this region, because already two of our party members are already down. Which is not a good sign, usually. Alright, Gatling Punch. Oh, that's the one that deals a lot of damage. Okay, so now I know which one to look for. And it missed. So, that's good. How is it not drowning? Okay, buddy. You know what? You've killed everyone, my friends. It's time, I guess, I kill you. I mean, there's not much to it, I guess. Starful Blade. Tons of damage done. Thank God, and we're just gonna go for Starfall Blossom. And look at that, they're all dead. I guess that was pretty self-explanatory. Or please... What am I saying? Whatever. We took care of the problem. No! Ah! <laughs> Don't take this out of context, please. Okay, let's get... What's going on, lag? This, this is... This is kinda crazy now, just... Just calm the fuck down, Aoja. No, stay back! Please! Ian, help me! Help me! Please, Ajoa, get the fuck out of here. Let the big boys handle the big boys toys. I'm gonna play you like a fiddle. <laughs> Don't actually say this, but I hope I could say this. Doesn't seem that much more stronger than the other ones, fortunately for us, so... Should be... A lot easier to handle, although we should not get too fools ourselves. We saw how powerful the Gatling Punch is, so... Be wary of the nearby attack, cause we may be in some trouble if we don't take this seriously. Let's just focus on the punches, so we may have a chance of actually dealing a lot of damage to it. Not dealing as much damage as I would want. Okay, the Megaton Punch actually doesn't do that much. I know it's based on the Samus as an enemy, so I am was kind of worried about it, but they don't seem to pack quite as much as, uh, as I thought. Granted, they are follower level. Than, than what we need to, than, than what we are, so we shouldn't have any 
uh, actual trouble going after these. So let's just start it. And there we go. Iron's ED card. The buyer number. Team leader. Team leader from me. We're not. Oh. Okay. That seems very bad. Uh. Hey, Joa. We have some talking to do. Here you go. That was one of those things that attacked us. Those cocoon. It hatched one of out of one of them. I can't take this anymore. I can't. Ian, where are you? Where did everyone go? I want to go back to New LA. You know what? I I have to show you this. I have to encourage you by showing you this. This this is one of the ID cards. So those things ate everyone. Oh god. Oh god, I just... No, I can't freak out now. We need to go to the camera footage. But Ian had the only ID card reviewing access for the security system. There you go. Wait, that's... You have Ian's ID card? Did it come from that monster too? We can't get that the camera data with this. Sorry, can, could you maybe look at it instead? I don't feel so well. I'm just going to go take a quick shower. Is that okay? No, 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 no. No, you, you need to stick around. That doesn't look good, especially on how worried you are. Just speaking out, take a quick... Have you seen any horror movie ever? Do not go take a shower. Really, I mean, I just feel so sweaty and gross and wrong, but if you say so, I, I trust your judgment. All right, okay, let, let's take a look here. Stick INZ ID card in the terminal there. Why is my skin so dry? It's like it's peeling off. I really need a shower. Ladies first, I guess. Let's look at the data. Activating main system. Please insert ID card. Emphasizing. Identity verified. Access privileges granted. The following information is available. Let's view information about this. The buying of water purification plant supplies New Los Angeles with water for drinking and industrial use. Additionally, the plant serves as a lab for monitoring and studying the quality of marine water. Let's check the other data then. Yes, yes, we get it. We get it. I just want to see the second one. Current plant research staff is as follows. My hydrology team lead, Ian Parker, Chef Researcher, Ejoa Bias, General Staff, Tanis Yoba, Edward Argus, Gordon Head Coth, Derek King, Data Analyst, Rosie Kellington. Alright, so only one of them remains. That's reassuring. Yes, I get it. Just get to the bloody point. Level 3 camera footage. Data corrupted. Code zone down. Extracting recoverable data. Please wait. Extraction of audio data complete. We're playing audio data now. Please, at least let Joanne survive this. Because she's not showing any symptoms yet. I wish that, that thing would just... eaten us and been done with it. Wait, the cameras. Is the security system running? You have to let a record of this. My name is Ian Parker. The rest of my team here is that the water purification plant is dead. Safe for Ejoa. There's some kind of primordial creature here. When it attacks, it lays eggs inside of victims. Ugh. It's like the parasitic wasps back on Earth that laid their uh, the youngs inside caterpillars. Or the eggs hatch. They take over the owl's body and maneuver it towards a favorable location. Ugh. Water! Water! Give me water, please, please, I need water! Ugh. Ugh. Water! Water! <laughs> Hello? Is anyone there? Ian! Ian! Open the door, please, I'm stuck in here! Open the door, Ian! <coughs> okay, uh... We gotta do some talking. So the reason I crave water is because of whatever is planted inside me? This is what happened to the others? One of those things... What that was? Yeah... Let's worry a little bit. 
you're not afraid of me? You're very kind. Right, as long as I have one water, the dogs in New LA can hopefully remove the thing's eggs before they hatch. I'm going back now, please let Rosie know I'm okay. We just went all alien over this shit. We just went full alien. That's actually very worrying, but that's actually a really sick mission. Just the idea of it is it's kinda good. Kinda like it a lot. Okay, Rosie. Maybe you shouldn't be that hard against most of them. Oh, it's you. Well, how'd it go? You slapped the lazy out of him? Did Ajoa cry? I want details and pictures. What? I remember Ajoa was they're dead? And she had an egg inside her body? And he begins surgically remove as we speak? No, no, that's simply not possible. Yeah. Let's let's just show proof. Oh god. Oh god. No, th this is. They were my friends. I went to check on Ejoa. H here, this is for saving your life. Mission complete. Results. You succeeded in rescuing Ejoa from the engines that attacked the biannual water purification plant. Fortunately for us, not everyone came out of it unscathed. That's actually very worrying. We just went full alien on this shit and it was actually pretty fucking cool. And it's just the plenty of things like this that make me love this game. Just like, so many arcing stories and it, it's great. It's fantastic. I like it a lot. Fortunately for us, although as that was legit. Tra tragic enough. <laughs> I just cannot suck. We're not done yet. We have one other mission to accomplish. We're going for doozies today. We're, we're, <laughs> this episode it just went from non-serious to completely serious in a matter of seconds. Next mission of the day, start off with Alex. How are you doing today? Hmm? Oh, are you the one who picked up my listing? The issue I need is resolved is urgent, yet I had no luck in finding help. I'd like to begin briefing you immediately, but first I must ask you one question. To my eye, New LA is a wild passage of an alien race. How many of you are in city? Well... Hmm. No, I'll, I'll praise the city. You're overshot optimistic and landed squarely in delusion. Such shrill tinted vision of the city only do you harm in the end. Some Xenos, for example, continue to flood out of the city's law. Should they not be held accountable for the actions? Well... <sighs> oh yeah, that's pretty fucking... No, 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 I'll challenge you, buddy, since you're a little bit of a racist there. You're glitch... You, you clearly have no cultural knowledge about them, apparently. Timmy, where are you now? That's right, you only and all who live in here have come of their own free will. Guess the residents, all I have to stay on our roof must uphold our laws. This is the very essence of what it means to be a civilized being. If we relinquish that, we have no future. Yet, look around you. These aliens parade about the city as if they're built with their own two hands, or tentacles, or whatever they have. I propose we gather up each race and require them to attend a seminar that clearly defines our custom. We can start with the man on. Well then, we assist me in this effort to raise our fair city up to the higher standard? Well, you don't look very, you know, you, you, you just don't look very trustable. So I'll accept the mission. <laughs> I see you're in kindred spirit, good sir. I cannot thank you enough. I will have as many mountains as I can. I would however ask you to call three of them and return to me. Yes. I'm gonna sense you right ahead. I'm not for full trace of phrase. My apologies if you can invite the three mountains to seminar on your hand. Maybe it will help me learn to, uh, deal with them appropriately. I don't trust you. I don't even trust you one single bit, you jimmerish asshole. Oh. Hey, Wakai? Wakai? Phew, women and jobs are so hard, aren't they? I presently work at an architect at Sarnal, but I've had a lot of trouble, you know? Yeah, uh... I, I'd appreciate it. It is, but I like human nonetheless. I guess the challenge adds to my satisfaction. No time to suppose my confidence lacks, doesn't it? I wish there was a person on class I could consult in house. Okay, there we go. Well, that's actually pretty cool. That's actually some pretty cool lore. I think an infinity for it, but yeah, that was 
such a thing. Alex is holding up a similar one of us. That's so wonderful. They were depends on understanding of human culture and customs, yes. Which I should turn and help and grasp your aesthetics. I'm eager to learn more of humans, you know, so yes, I think I shall attend the seminar. It's very very concerning out well very concerning. Very concerning. I mean, very nice of you. I'm sorry for misrepresenting your kind, dear Manon. I do like you, and you like pizza, so ain't no way I'm not gonna like you. <laughs> Anyone who likes pizzas is my friend. Even people that I hate that likes pizza are they're my friend. That doesn't make any sense. Bullshit, it absolutely does. Hey, Zdoy? Your texture is not properly loaded yet. There we go. I try not to irritate human, but it seems like it just happens, you know? I'm gonna think that perhaps Manon just come across as wishy-washy to humans, no matter how hard we try. Go to for any tips, perhaps, please? Well, keep trying. As you suggest, perhaps I'll try out there, if only there were a more, more direct solution. Hmm. Well, let's invite you to the seminar, then. At least we can see that most of them even try, that's pretty good. How remarkably convenient. Humans are quite considerable, aren't you? I'll attend Alex seminar then. After all, understanding humans is the first step towards learning to communicate better with them, right? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Alright, and our third one is none other than are we Arwa. Works in arm development here in New LA, you know? It's a rewarding war, but often navigating Earth customs so so difficult. Evening comes and the entire team goes on, right? But but to me the dark hours are the most productive. Well, why don't you go to Alex Sounder? My name is uh, his name is Alex. Yes, Alex. Oh, perhaps the Zimmer will give me the insight onto human thinking. Maybe. On go, yes. Through, perhaps I shouldn't expect too too much, should I? Not to be rude. Well, don't be. Please don't be. I'll just go back to uh, a good old Alex and uh, see see what this is all uh, uppity about. Wouldn't you say? I would say. I would totally say. Hey, so, Alexy, I'm, I'm gonna call you Alexy. That's a cute name. What are we up about right now? Ah, oh, you found them. Fine work. I have a special location reserved for the seminar on traditional Earth costume. By the end of the talk, I expect they will all be perfectly assimilated. Come to me at the top of Headwater Summit in Primordia. The lesson I have planned can only be thought there, for there will be made the except of truth by any means necessary. That sounds very sketchy. I don't know about you, but having someone being like, we'll talk the truth into them, that sounds very sketchy, or psychopathic, or just very sketchy in general. I would not, I will, I will not trust that person with my grandma if that was the case. Uh, let's just board on a scale, it's faster movement. Why the hell not? You know, Whenever you feel like you're doing something wrong, just think of something. Why the hell not? That's just how of your life. Alright, Alex, I'll see you through. I expected you sooner, but no matter. We've only just begun, after all. Now, please enjoy the show. Are there no puns down there? Well, Manon, it's time to decide. Would you prefer to jump of your own will, or die by, the, by a bullet? N neither I see, in that case. No, just fucking stop! You understand nothing. Does the current situation not raise the alarm in your mind? Coming to this planet thought me something. The Xenos who destroyed the Earth are far from all our only threat. Manon possesses diabolical alien technology. They're even more dangerous than a prone. Where are they to return the technology against the city in the Erdos? New LA would be a wretched from us in days. At this rate, they'll take everything. Mankind will be doomed into a dark future slaves, toiling under the lash of the cruel Xeno masters. But if we take the initiative, eliminate the Xenos threat before they strike, we can spare our people from that hell. If you will not see the truth through reason, my only choice is to resort to force. For you see, I am far from alone in wishing New LA would be cleansed of its Xeno infestation. Although we share in my vision, I've come together from fight for it. 
and any humans that would place themselves behind the Art of Truth, and the Manan can die along with them. I will have none of this, good sir. I wouldn't call you good sir, but I guess you, you get my points. Let's go for a little fight. A, a little fight, I guess. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, we're gonna be playing that now, aren't we? Aren't we? Okay then, I guess I, uh, I'll use the big gun then, and uh, did not expect as much. Okay, well, let's not target you, let's target, yeah, that guy. And uh, let's just go for a little damage over time, see how it does. Uh, this looks problematic, to say the least. Alright, then let's deal as much damage as possible, fatigue damn. We just need to do as much damage as possible, because if we don't, we're in, uh, bitterly, bitty bitty bad terms. Alright, that's good, that's good. Uh, le le let's not focus on him. No! Did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. There we go. Oh god, I'm almost the only one alive now. Woo, that looks bad. That looks real bad. That looks ugly. If I've ever seen something ugly, I'd say this is probably the second ugliest things I've seen in my life. Uh, let's hope I don't die this time around. Although E is fairly high levels too, so I don't know how well I'm gonna do against that. Alright, let's just deal with that. He's almost dead. So let's just go for that. Let's reserve the beam blade for the lineage. Let's try to get as much health back as possible. And we need to store some appendages before we can actually deal a, low, a whole lot of damage. Fatigue you. This looks bad. Oh, God, I got the time. I got the timing right. Oh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I just want one art. And there we go. We took care of him. Wow, that was tight if I've ever had a fight. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, I do legitimately apologize for what happened. But I can express... The two of them are such gentle options. Which one should I choose? Yeah, let's express concern. Don't worry, if it came down to it, I have to play dead. I'm pretty good at it, I guess. Takes more than this to get a mountain down, you know? So don't worry about it, okay? So my cans are wicked, yes. So how could we expect better of human? We didn't think that through is the problem. Perhaps it really is as simple as that. Anyway, please allow us to reward you for your assistance, okay? Will it get shot? Will it get shot? It looks like he's gonna get shot. I would be pleased for you to have this. Thank you so, so, so much. Oh, and I hope to see you again in the city soon, if that's alright. Okay, it didn't get shot. Whoo! Thank God! Results! You stood against Alex, electing to protect new Alex Xeno from residents. Yeah, any non-asshole would do that, but yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. Are they gonna get shot? Okay, they got home safe. Okay, just showing character like this walking away is like an instant they're gonna get shot moment for me. I don't know why I freak out so much every time, but that's legitimately what I think. Anyhow, looks like we're done here. What's a big no-no for me since we have two more things to do. As per usual, I guess you could just, you know, guess what I'm about to do, but that'd be no fun. But before that, I just want to do two things. Since we have a scale, there are one treasure in particular that I would like to get that I remember. And we could get at this point in time that we could not get beforehand. So, wow, that was a lot of drifting. Let's just jump. I almost feel like it's easier. Yes, we're going over there. Now, why am I doing this? Because, well, normally we swim and... Now we we don't have to swim, we can just right, go right ahead and get those, and I can't even get there, god damn it. 
All right, let's just go for some tyrant hunting. And today we are going after the none other than I believe it's called yes, Erian Dion move. Now get ready for the saying of the week. This guy, although very very intimidating since it's level 29, uh, especially if it's your first time moving in into Oblivia, he's really not that bad. Considering that's immortal, it usually has the same weaknesses and arts of the normal one. Really, the main deal is just that it's level 29, otherwise its stats aren't that impressive. And it's art, there's not really that much in terms of capabili uh, capabilities offensively and defensively uh, that should be noted. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward fight, to be perfectly honest. You shouldn't have no trouble with this whatsoever. If you have terminal abilities or just something in general that can deal a lot of damage, especially if you have something against Insectoid like I do, this fight is a joke. It's an actual joke. Being damaged I don't think does that much damage, but you know, it's, it fits, it fits, it fits, and uh, we're already done with it. <laughs> See how easy it was? And yeah. Our second tower of the day, I did not expect to fight this, is Vittorio the Battle Scare. Now, what I'm doing this, I have no idea. I, I just went for a specific tower and then I faced another one, so... I mean, he is leveled enough for me to take him down, so how about we just deal with it in general? We don't have anything to lose, and if anything, it's gonna make our tyrant hunting later on much, much easier to deal with. So, Victoria the Battle uh, Sacred Scar. Scre scre <laughs> oh my god. I gotta say, I love the subtitle. Well, not the subtitles, but the subtext of some of these tyrants. Like, they're. they're uh, their names, like, you have things like the Vicious, like the Battle Scam, like the Shallowless, and you have surnames like this that are fucking awesome. They just sound awesome. In, in life, ain't nothing more important than having something that's just sound awesome to you. Because I feel that it's pretty fucking important. Oh, maybe it's not really, but I, I just feel like it is. <laughs> Don't you think so? Anyway, Vittorio, really... I have a scale stone, it's not that big of a deal. Of course, on foot, as, as per H uh, Tentixla, it has a ton of health. And well, not of health, but of defensive capabilities. So, anything I can pierce through defenses or completely ignore it is fantastic against it. Of course, going to overdrive helps you with damage output overall, so deal with it, anything like that. Anything that can help you also deal single target damage is fantastic against it. I have like a bow constructor that deals insane amounts of single damage targets, so let's just tell you that uh, use as many debuffs as possible. If you have anything that can lower defenses, that's even better. Use anything against this guy. Really, there's not that much strategy other than smack him good. <laughs> it's, it's nothing really I can tell you about it. Now we're entering a little man in some storm, so that can be bad for us, but probably won't be that big of a deal. So, let's just deal as much damage as possible, and we should be fine. We should be real fine. Right, let's go with that, and then let's go with that. And he doesn't have that much health left, so it shouldn't be that big of a problem. God damn it, he staggered me. I didn't want this to happen. Well, everyone's dead now. Why does everyone always. Well, you're a little on level, so I guess that makes sense. Okay, let's just deal as much damage as possible. And this guy's almost dead anyway, so it's really not that much to say about this fight other than, you know, it's a damn fight. I can tell you as much. It sure is a damn fight. I've done it, I've done it many times, and I can see it now. Oh god damn it, it didn't stagger, I need to stagger hard on uh, on me, cause I I cannot rejuvenate uh, fuel otherwise, and not that it's annoying, it's just, I, I don't like it very much. I need a fuel recovery kind of uh, thing. Well, then again, you can use Miranium to re completely recover your, your fuel over time, so that's not that bad of an idea, it's just, fucking do it, or fucking don't. That was Vittorio. Don't even know if I have uh, something ready for him quite yet. Yeah, let's get this moving. You have guessed it! Today, we're doing another Hot to Hot. This time, with a good old friend and a uh, very weird person, L. How y'all doing? Ah, our dear friend Cross, you have come at the most for a fortuitous moment. God damn it. This good man and fellow intends to buy one of our many fine creation, of where he wishes to pay us, not in credits, but in pizza. 
We have stressed repeatedly that we rarely eat pizza, but it remains quite unmanned. We are reminded of your human aphorism and are not as good as a drink with a blind horse. How true! It matters not how good the frozen pizza is, a battery economy is not a viable model. I... Ooh. Ooh. You could sell those pizza, man. Hmm, an intriguing proposition. That's possibly a non occurred to us. We are reminded not at the time we sold a small rock found in Artem to a suspicious woman for 3,000 credits. Very well, we shall set the pizza at an elevated price to the other manon who have bought the pizza fad. But, hold on a moment, surely the customer that overpays the pizza would come to fiercely regret being taken advantage of and let us spurn our business. We mustn't sacrifice potential long term profit for a small, short term gain. No, instead of immediately reselling these frozen pizza at a markup, we should find a way to use our talent to increase their value, then resell them at an appropriate price. In other words, we shall accept pizzas au lieu de crédit from the Manon upgrade set stock of pizzas and then sell them to different Manon customers. This could be the beginning of a beautiful new business model. But wait! That would be an endless loop of pizza, one that would leave us without money for the rest of our days. Give us whatever are we to do! <laughs> This is business acumen. And that is it for today. That was a fairly dramatic episode, wouldn't you say? Kill a lot of indigents. Had some racist Hitler, Xeno, buddy. And people got turned into monsters, so... I'ma leave you at that. <laughs> I'd say that's enough for one episode. I want to thank you, each and every single one of you beautiful No White Esther for watching. My name is Overgame3, and I'll see you all next time. Fancy of you to meet us here!